The Catholic Morning Prayer to Saint Therese of Lisieux Hello friends, it's Joseph and thank you for joining me at With Mary, the big family that helps you to pray. Please subscribe now and click on the bell to be sure to receive all of our new prayers and updates. Welcome to this powerful Catholic Morning Prayer with Saint Therese of Lisieux. Saint Therese of Lisieux, also known as the Little Flower, has captivated countless minds and hearts for more than a century. Her simple and pure heart was filled with a deep love for our Lord, and that love spilled over into the lives of many. She inspired those who knew her on a daily basis, and she continues to inspire those who read her story. Let us ask for her powerful intercession today, that we may encounter the love and power of God in all things, and let us bring all of our needs and intentions to this morning prayer. I also invite you to trust your prayers and intentions in the comments of the video. And you can also sign up for our Morning Prayers Novena by clicking on the link in the video description. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God, I offer thee all my actions of this day, for the intentions and for the glory of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I desire to sanctify every beat of my heart, my every thought, my simplest works, by uniting them to its infinite merits. And I wish to make reparation for my sins by casting them into the furnace of its merciful love. O oh my God, I ask of Thee for myself and for those whom I hold dear the grace to fulfill perfectly Thy holy will, to accept the love of Thee the joys and sorrows of this passing life, so that we may one day be united together in heaven for all eternity. Amen. O glorious Saint Therese, whom Almighty God has raised up to aid and inspire the human family, I implore your miraculous intercession. You are so powerful in obtaining every need of body and spirit from the heart of God. Holy Mother Church proclaims you, prodigy of miracles, the greatest saint of modern times. Now I fervently beseech you to answer my petition and to carry out your promises of spending heaven, doing good on earth, of letting fall from heaven a shower of roses. Little flower, give me your childlike faith to see the face of God in the people and experiences of life, and to love God with full confidence. Saint Therese, my Carmelite sister, I will fulfill your plea to be made known everywhere, and I will continue to lead others to Jesus through you. Amen. This morning let us pray with the wisdom of Saint Therese on the grace of the present moment. I have frequently noticed that Jesus doesn't want me to lay up provisions. He nourishes me and each moment with a totally new food. I find it within me without knowing how it is there. I believe it is Jesus himself in the depths of my poor little heart. He is giving me the grace of acting within me, making me think of all he desires me to do at the present moment. What does it matter, Lord, if the future is bleak? I cannot pray for tomorrow's needs. Keep me pure, keep me in your shade just for today. Vessel of grace, throughout your brief journey, you entered every moment of life and embraced it completely, knowing it was there that you would encounter the face of God. You trust in divine protection, holy guidance, and graced nourishment. Just for today, recognizing that the present is the only place where God can be revealed. How much of my own time is wasted outside of God's shade, worrying about yesterday and planning for tomorrow. Release me from these anxieties and my own need to control. Free my soul to fly with the Spirit in each breath that I take, reminding me that all I have is now. Amen. 
Friends, we now pray with Saint Therese of Lisieux for physical healing. From the writings of Saint Therese, finding no help on earth, poor little Therese had also turned towards the Mother of Heaven and prayed with all of her heart that she take pity on her. All of a sudden, the Blessed Virgin appeared beautiful to me, so beautiful that never had I seen anything so attractive to me. Her face was suffused with the ineffable benevolence and tenderness. But what penetrated to the very depths of my soul was the ravishing smile of the Blessed Virgin. At that instant, all of my pain disappeared, and two large tears glistened on my eyelashes and flowed down my cheeks silently, but they were tears of unmixed joy. Seeing my gaze fixed on the Blessed Virgin, Mary cried out, Therese is cured. Yes, the little flower was going to be born again to life, and the luminous ray that had warmed her again was not to stop its favours. The ray did not act all at once, but sweetly and gently, it raised the little flower and strengthened her in such a way that five years later, she was expanding on the fertile mountain of Carmel. Lord Jesus, we need your healing touch. There are areas of infirmities in our bodies and diseases weakening people we love. Our aches and pains limit us. Our internal organs and broken limbs from head to toe and from fingertip to fingertip. We hurt in areas which make the whole of us hurt. Parts of us are diseased and not functioning well. There is cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes, arthritis and other diseases slowly weakening us. The pain isolates and shrinks us. Today, Lord Jesus, we place our physical pain and the hurt of family and friends before you, reaching out as young Saint Therese for the healing power and peace that only heaven can give. With tears of hope and gratitude, we seek your healing touch. We ask you this, who teaches us confidence and trust in your love. Amen. O little Therese of the Child Jesus, please pick for me a rose from the heavenly gardens and send it to me as a message of love. O little flower of Jesus, ask God to grant me the favours I now place with confidence in your hands. Saint Therese, help me to always believe as you did in God's great love for me, so that I may imitate your little way each day. Amen. Mary, we implore you in this decade of the Most Holy Rosary to hear and answer all of our prayer intentions. May we obtain the fruits and virtues of this decade through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, through the intercession of Saint Therese of Lisieux. Friends, I also invite you to leave your prayer requests and intentions in the comments section below so that we can pray for you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of your mercy. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle, be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, a Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast down to hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoyed this Catholic morning prayer to St. Therese of Lisieux, then please like it and I invite you to share it with others. To thank you for participating, I want to offer you the free digital ebook, The Five Essential Keys to Praying Better. Please click on the link that appears now or in the comment section below. A big thank you, friends, for praying this powerful Catholic morning prayer. I pray that you have a blessed and beautiful day, encountering God in all things with the help of St. Therese the Little Flower. And I look forward to praying with you again in the next video. Until then, God bless.